My advice to young women is to see that the political system is a place where they should be. Right. Don't sort of back away from it saying it's not nice, you know, it's corrupt, it's this, it's that. It'll never change unless, unless you're part of it. The second thing I say is that young women should back themselves and have the confidence to step up to positions. Uh, it's often said that women will say they're not ready for something when they're 120% ready. Men who are 60% ready will say they're ready. <laughs> so women tend to be much more self-critical. Oh, I'm not ready. Of course you're ready. If, if people are even saying to you, you should think about that, you're ready, right? You don't need to know everything about everything, but you need to have the confidence to say, yes, I could do this. I'm going to have a go. Some of the amazing meetings with women that I've had around the world. And actually, the very first of those round tables was in Liberia in 2009. Mm -hmm. Liberia went through a very long civil war and instability. The society was devastated, brutalized. And they're rebuilding. They had a woman president uh, for two terms, and she did a good job. But I sat and, and listened to women from different parts of the society and organizations speaking. And one woman who spoke uh, on behalf of those who worked with victims of domestic violence said, you know, in our society, when women have got money, and she was referring to economic independence, right. when women have got money, the men don't beat them. Now, that's a very powerful statement because it says when the woman has more independence in every sense, she's in a stronger position. Uh, she's looked at differently. She's not a dependent that can be literally kicked around. She's got status. She can stand her, her ground. She can command respect. And uh, we may be surprised at the many spillover effects that economic independence could have. Strength in men and women is seen differently. And actually in women, strength is often seen as, quote, toughness and not very nice. And this is not, you know, not what women should be like. So, you know, all of those negative perceptions feed, feed into it as, as, as well. Uh, but I am hopeful that because there was a strong team of women candidates last time, mm -hmm. that this will encourage others to come forward next time and that maybe the 10th Secretary General will be female and be able to you know, build off the platform that we established in 2016 for credible candidacies.